If you know where to look, you can find a little bit of the 1980s tucked away in the middle of the Mojave Desert. In all its industrial glory. Gold Dome Mill, a modern mill operation, where they once took rich ore to extract precious metals from rock using hazardous chemicals like cyanide at an industrial scale. Gold Dome serviced large-scale surface mining in the area, like that of the Morning Star Mine, pumping rubble into machines to feed the demands of 1980s consumer society. Inevitably, when the local mining began to dry up, companies packed up and moved on. But at Gold Dome, everything was left behind, frozen in time, hazardous chemicals and all. Howdy folks, my name's Glenn and this is the Cactus Atlas and today I'm going to take you deep into the Mojave Desert as we seek out the Gold Dome Mill. Alrighty, so Slim and I decided here to pull over in Nipton and they're tightening it down even more than last time. They put these cones up now. So I guess they just don't want folks around. I'm not sure, but we've already explored Nipton. There's a few historic buildings here. A beautiful town and like being here in the early morning light, but Nipton is not the focus of our attention today. Um, our attention is gonna be somewhere way out into the vast Mojave Desert. Somewhere out there. The land of Joshua trees. The Mojave Desert. Where remnants of mining still exist today, if you know where to look. We're actually not too far from our destination, and I think the roads are relatively easy going to where we want to go. Um, a little bit later of a start, it's 7.45 a.m. at this point. Um, on Saturday, May the 20th, I think it is. I'm not screwing up my dates. And uh, wanted to get there before any other off-roaders go. But so far, not seeing too much evidence of people where we're going. Okay, we're coming up on our turn now. Should be a left turn here off of Ivanpah onto a nameless road. At least according to Google, I don't see the name of the road. So in 1,000 feet, turn left. She didn't say what it is. Where do I turn left? Oh, right here, I guess, huh? This is a tight turn. So here's our turn, according to Google. Continue for one and a half miles. Wowzers. Oh, God. <laughs> Something's making me wonder, is Google really taking me to where I think she's taking me here? It's a lot of crap here I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> wow. There's evidence of mining, though, probably some tailings. Yeah, here's really some tough spots. But you see Joshua trees up close and personal, and I see evidence of mining up there, it looks like. Honestly, I think there's a better way to do this than what Google's having me do. Although this in theory can get me there. I'm just wondering do I continue because I just this road is bad. I don't even know if you can call it a road. We come this far though, so if there's an easier way out, we'll at least do that. Cause I can't imagine this being the main way in, just with as much overgrowing vegetation there is here. I'm driving over. But it does make for exciting video, I guess. So yeah, I would say the off-roading portion of today's adventure was uh, unexpected. <laughs> I'm still skeptical this is the best way to go, but hey, it got the job done. I feel like I'm just driving through the desert. It's so overgrown, but you can see below, I actually see the graffiti this place is known for. This would be the facility. And I don't know how this works here. All right, this part here is the worst part. I'm even hesitant about trying it because of the how steep it is going down the other side. I'm going to have to assume with my wheelbase and the 
clearance here. I'm hoping I got enough clearance when we come down off of this guy here, right here. It's very steep. In case you come in this silly way that I came, I would not recommend it. Something that I've really wanted to visit for the last few years once I've seen other people's pictures and videos of the place. There's a little taste of what we're gonna be dealing with today. Gold Home Mill, hopefully we don't kill ourselves. All right, we are down here at ground level at the Gold Dome Mill. This abandoned industrial strength processing facility that processed ore. All right, I'm gonna save the main facility for last because this appears to be the uh, La Pièce de Résistance, <laughs> as it were. I kind of peeked in and did a walk around here to see what we're dealing with, but I want to check out some of these outlier buildings and some folks just arrived anyway. But I'm kind of glad others are here to demonstrate to you that this is a visited place. I'm not the only one. It's totally legit. Um, and, you know, I guess other people like me are not afraid of toxic dirt and materials. There are several facilities out here in the Mojave Desert, just like this one, that just were abandoned and left as if the last shift happened and everybody just packed up and walked away from the job. And unfortunately, some of the graffiti that I came to see, the ones where you're gonna see a lot of cutout metal where people cut things out and painted them, uh, were done by a, we'll just say an underground artist collective known as In Decline. And um, I don't know what year they did this, probably in the last decade or so, as a form of kind of like protest art. And we'll, we'll talk about more of that as we enjoy the, the natural splendor that man left here. <laughs> the unnatural splendor, I should say. The place is covered in graffiti from head to toe, and I have mixed feelings about it. Um, I can't be almost like an elitist and say some of the art here is cool with me and some is not, because I could say, oh, everything in decline did is art, and then all the little markings of other people are not. Where do you draw the line, really, and how do you discern? You know, because I've seen other artist renditions that people have done that I doubt were done by In Decline, and they're amazing. Like one that I saw over there that I, it's probably my favorite one. Um, so yes and no, I guess. If I, if I lived in an ideal world and had my way, I would say I'd be cool with the In Decline stuff and a couple other things, and everything else has gotta go. Like that, like this kind of stuff. I, I don't uh, find that tasteful. People can up their skills and their graffiti game if they're gonna take the time to do this. They could take a lesson from In Decline, I would say. So there's another example of In Decline's work and you can see their stamp, their signature up there also. So in some year, I'm not sure when, I'm gonna guess within the last decade or so, this underground collective of art artists came out here. I wanna say there were eight of them approximately and spent six days out here. You can actually go look on YouTube or their website and see the video of them doing this. They're masked, but they're cutting all the metal out. I even saw one guy cut his finger on metal. Ugh, get your tetanus shots before you visit, of course, as I always say. Um, but yeah, they're protesting the greed of man over his endless quest of metals and things of that nature. All right, I just did my first kind of sweep with my other camera and toured the inside of that facility and kind of climbed up on some of that stuff. And that definitely seems to be the, the grand finale in there. And there's like a tunnel that goes all the way through to the other side there, up to where I think the operation started technically. All right, I am suited up now and ready to attack this tunnel. Hopefully I can get through it. Otherwise, we'll just walk. Give you your first quick look of the inside of this facility. It is uh, absolutely crazy how much stuff is in here still. We're gonna go up this way. It's not this part of the facility that needs the headlamp. It's up there. This is pretty, a little dark and shady, but you can navigate your way around here carefully. Just some broken glass to watch out for. And rusted metal. So yeah, this is a good view of the facility from up above. We'll walk all the way across and explore all those machines. I don't know what all these machines did exactly, but it was for the processing of ore, chemical treatment, cyanide treatments to separate metal from 
waste rock, I think, is the general gist of it. All right, this is the bridge that is carved out. It says in decline on the left, so you can kind of see, and then aware on the other side. And you can see Slim, I'm looking out of the D and in decline <laughs> out the window here on the bridge, as you can see, and Slim's patiently waiting. I gave him a good ride out here. We took a hard way in here. I'm gonna walk you through how I think this thing worked. These are, I think, a series of rollers and probably conveyor system. I'm gonna assume crushers that came from a system above us. There's still industrial strength equipment up there. And you can see, I think these were some kind of rolling system that transported ore. And there's some kind of thingamajigger here that looks almost like it looks like something feeds into it down here. And that looks like that's ore, like crushed up rock. So maybe somewhat processed at this point. Something like that was transported down the conveyor system, probably into tanks and all of those other gadgets in there that would further strip down the ore. My hope is this is a shortcut to take us out to that conveyor system that I saw at the top of the hill so I could avoid walking around. Um, another one of those ore crushing looking things. And you can actually still see the belts. So I think I was right about this being some kind of a conveyor system to transport the ore. And it looks like it feed, fed in at different spots from somewhere up above. And oops, that is a small tunnel. <laughs> I couldn't tell when I was over there, but I'd have to get on my hands and knees to crawl over there. And I see like the shadow of what looks like almost like a fence or gate or chicken wire. So I might be blocked. So I'm going to skip the hands and knees today so in favor of not getting tetanus and scratching my neck on some twisted metal. Hopefully that was the, hopefully that was the wise choice. But I think you get the gist of it. You know, we mine rocks from the earth. We want to separate the material, the good from the bad. This is probably gold, I would imagine. Um, they think this was servicing like the gold industry. Not sure if they did other metals, but you got to separate the gold from that. And there's probably lots of micro dots of gold inside of the, the ore. So those harm, like cyanide and other harmful chemicals helped extract that from the waste, basically. So. Um, in modern times, that's how they did it. So yeah, I assume the ore was eventually transported to these things. I don't know if these are the cyanide leaching tanks or what those would have looked like, but these seem to be candidates <laughs> for that. One of them is cut open, but you could see lots of tanks, probably for different uses and stages of processing the ore. You know, mining a site or whatever, just touring some abandoned industrial complex like this is an adventure of its own that I'm really digging a lot. But apparently this, the uh, EPA made this a super fun site, meaning that there's still hazardous chemicals somewhere around here and these things are really bad for the ecosystem, like deadly to the ecosystem. So I don't know the current status today, but chances are there's toxic stuff still around here somewhere. Hopefully I didn't touch it or breathe it in. It's this piece that I really like, and it works the best if we line it up just right. I'm gonna kind of walk over this way to show you the illusion. It's starting to come together. It's starting to come together, and boom, it's connected. I think that is the optimal viewing angle of whatever that is. I wanted to say it's a dude, a guy with a gas mask on, shooting a gun, but now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if that's not so much a gun and more of a drill, like a miner with a helmet on, with a light on his helmet, with a gas mask on and like a drill, just drilling. I mean, whether right or wrong, I'll let you decide. I think they did a really intricate job with this and uh, you gotta give them that at least. <laughs> if you like it or if you don't like it. I mean, it's, it's really a neat piece. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things of the day, even though I don't think it's in Decline's handiwork. So once again, in Decline's handiwork is more along the lines of that cut metal like that. It's probably like death on a horse. And I think when we flew, flew above it, you can kind of see there's more continuation on the top. So best seen from the air. But this here I think is 
whoever did this, this is one of the exceptions to my complaining. Um, I don't think this is in decline, but this adds to the ambience of going in there. In fact, when I came here before the other group showed up and stuff and I was walking around the building and saw that, before I had gone in, it made me think twice. I guess no matter what your preference is, hopefully I had something for you here today. Maybe you're into the mining industry and you saw something cool. Maybe you're into like street art, things like that, and you enjoyed it. Whatever the case, hopefully you got something out of it. I know I did. I really enjoyed visiting this place, but I think it's time to go. I don't know, do I have toxic metals on my shoe now? Uh, bye.